So we skipped on breakfast, caught as much sleep as he could, and we piled into the Jeep to continue on our trek. We hit this little rock formation. It had some really cool Spanish name, but I just call it the rock tree because I don't know Spanish very well. And we uh, looked at a few routes to see if we could do some scrambling slash climbing. So what are you thinking? I'm taking a look at this crack here. It starts to look quite narrow and then stems into an off width. It's a little technical, but I think it's doable. You want to climb it? That was the idea. How are you feeling? Not well. Okay. My guts are a little upset at the moment as well. Maybe yeah, we'll save this one till later. Yeah, you want to pass? Well, take the backside, the easy way up the mountain. Sean, that scared me. Really kind of showed you how immense it was in, in, in one point because of, of the rocks that were there, but also how small the area was too. Uh, just a bunch of rocks in the desert, but really neat configurations, big piles of rock on rock and all wind-worn and eroded into neat shapes. Still got some great views though, it's really nice. So we left the Stone Tree National Park, it's a new name, and we were headed down the road on the way to, I don't know, the next destination, and we came across a broken down vehicle. Um, first it looked like it was just a flat tire, but once we got a little closer, they were definitely having some mechanical issues. Thought about suggesting that maybe they should just make sure they're full of gas, but I didn't think that was gonna probably help. Well, they're fixing this front thing in the vehicle. Oh, the front thing, okay. Yeah. yeah. It was a busy scene, there was lots of cars pulled up. All the other tour guides had their hands in there, everybody pitching in what parts and tools they had. It was pretty cool to watch, actually. So, I'm wondering why so many people have stopped, but... It's a novelty, right? It is a novelty. Well, no, I don't think so. No, not for them. <laughs> And now all you saw was these Land Rovers, and it was, it was like, is there a big tour company here? Like, it sort of brought a bigger scene into perspective. You look around and you see that all of these title Land Cruisers are the same make, same model, same year. Uh, they're scalping parts off other vehicles if they can. They all carry the same spare parts. It was a, a real communal effort. Everybody pitches in to keep everybody going. It's insanely impressive. Insanely impressive. Uh, it looks like it's a bit of a rough go. They broke off some studs in the carrier housing that actuates with the wheel. They're gonna try and back the studs out like a screwdriver and hammer, which is tenuous at best. Craig also pitched in to try and help the process. Uh, One guy was trying to pour the gas and pour it into a, a pan, so I became the, uh, the gas pouring guy for a while. You got, you got to start low and work your way up, right? That's good, man. Gotta get uh, I was a little wary about him getting his hands in there. This is my kind of mechanics, man. Uh, and I do know it's not the alternator. It's definitely not the alternator. Don't rule it out. Don't rule it. I'm not sure if they spun a wheel bearing or chewed up some gears or what happened there, but they had uh, their whole front axle disassembled on the side of the road. Okay. Yeah, actually, as, as much as I say I don't mind being here and I can hang out here a long time, I'm really glad it's not our car. I'm glad, I'm glad we're like the heroes and not the uh, hero help. What are they called? Going on. Um, I'm not sure how they're gonna make out at the end of the day. It might be a limp at home kind of prospect or go to town and bring back parts, but they're giving it their all. I wish I had some tools to get in there and help them. And it looks like they're fashioning maybe a seal from the leather of his belt. It was just a few weeks ago, Sean and I were pushing some guy out of a ditch in Canada that was stuck in the snow, and now we're watching this. Not sure if they have yet, but they're, they're flanging it up. They're gonna give it a go. Hopefully they're successful. Once, once I found someone who replaced me to pour the gasoline, and our driver, Quan kind of was of more, no more use to them, and they were kind of set, we, we took off. I find it. Inversely amusing, actually. It wasn't funny 10 minutes ago, it's not funny now. It's still pretty funny. Actually, I gotta admit, it's getting a little more funny.